Hey, what's going on guys? Josh here from Classic Elite, and this is a video review of Tomb Raider on the PC. Published by Square Enix and developed by Crystal Dynamics, this is a reboot for the series. Now don't worry, it's still an action-adventure game with a healthy amount of platforming, but gone is the wisecracking B-movie action heroine that we all once knew as Laura Croft. Crystal Dynamics has not just rebooted the game, but they've reimagined the character as well. This game tells the story of a young Laura on her first real adventure. But as you would expect, about five minutes in, something goes terribly wrong and the once peaceful expedition turns into a fight for survival. And this is where the game is truly different and breaks away from the series prior. Laura isn't looking for treasure, well, at least not in the main plot. Optional tombs and stuff to find, that's plenty, that's all out there. No, the main goal of the narrative is just to survive and make it off this crazy ass island that you've been stranded on. As a whole, the game is well written. Laura in particular is much more believable and all around a more likable person as the main character. You know about sacrifices. No, you know about loss. Sacrifice is a choice you make. Loss is a choice made for you. Her journey from timid young bookworm to the adventurer we all know her to be is a good one. The gameplay, like I said, is not too different. It's still a mix of combat, platforming, and exploration, but they've also added in a few light RPG mechanics. And by that, I'm referring to the fact that you get experience for killing enemies, and you get salvage for killing enemies when you loot their corpses and you find boxes of salvage around and you can use that to upgrade your equipment. Now shooting and platforming in particular are the best they've ever been in the series. Although this is no Gears of War or Mario, it's not that great. Uh, it doesn't really excel in any of the particular areas that it's going for and it tries to do a lot of things. But understand me when I say even though it's not great, it does everything very competently. Now, okay, wait, maybe I spoke too quickly. If I did say the game had one standout feature, it might be the visuals. Man, this is a really nice looking game. Now, like I said earlier, I'm playing on the PC and I'm only on the high graphic settings. There are two more settings above the one you're watching in this video and it can make a much prettier experience. Nonetheless, even a few notches down from the highest visual settings, Tomb Raider is still a stunning looking game. From top to bottom, it's a high polished thrill ride as a single player game. As a multiplayer game, it's forgettable. And ultimately, the multiplayer modes just feel tacked on. The Tomb Raider combat and platforming mechanics work really well within the confines of a single player game but just don't work in the multiplayer setting. So I wouldn't expect to find a whole lot of online matches in the coming months. In summary, I can simply say that Tomb Raider is a really good game. But to elaborate, I can say that Tomb Raider is a really, really good game. Multiplayer aside, it's fantastic pretty well written and a great adventure that I can highly recommend. Again, my name is Josh and if you like this video and you're watching on YouTube, I please ask that you rate and subscribe. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to check out g2po.com where you can see a lot of other great gaming videos from other people and our own videos as well. You guys have a good one.